Welcome to On Microsoft. Conversations with thought leaders in Microsoft technologies. Welcome back to On Microsoft. My name is Stephen Tobe. I'm on the parallel computing platform team at Microsoft. And I'm here with my teammate, Joe Duffy. Uh, who is the development lead for Parallel Extensions to the .NET Framework, and has also written a terrific new book on uh, concurrent programming on Windows, which also happens to be the title. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you could tell us a little about it. So actually, the book uh, just launched at PDC. Um, so you know, if you're at the PDC now, you can uh, stop by the bookstore and, and pick up a copy. Um, uh, basically, the book is about how to build concurrent programs on Windows and .NET today. So you know, at PDC, a lot of the stuff that uh, you and I have been working on and talking about at PDC ha has to do with kind of the future of parallel computing on Windows and .NET. But of course, people have to deal with multi-core today, and they have been doing so for years. Um, I mean, on the server side, you know, people are accustomed de to dealing with dual dual processor. At, you know, the architecture is different. It's more um, symmetric multiprocessor architectures rather than chip multiprocessor, which is slightly different. Although the means of programming them are the same on, on Windows. And so the book is really a tour through what does it mean to write concurrent software on Windows today? Um, starting with kind of the, the concepts, fundamental concepts with um, concurrency. What does it mean to run software concurrently? Um, what, from a timing standpoint, what are the kinds of things you have to think about? You know, now I have multiple pieces of code running in parallel on through the mechanisms. Um, so the book is actually separated into these four segments. The second is the mechanisms, so the APIs and infrastructure, and how do, how do things actually work, and what are the APIs you would use, um, both for .NET and C++ development. Um, so it actually covers both Win32 and .NET pretty extensively. Um, <clears throat> the third section is kind of patterns and algorithms, uh, also data structures. So walks you through, you know, what does it mean to build parallel containers? What does it mean to do parallel sorting, searching? What are the kinds of algorithms you might be writing when you're building these kinds of uh, applications? Um, and the last section is systems. So more to do with server-side programming. So, you know, async I.O., which is pretty common, uh, but also client-side, you know, what does it mean to have a concurrent program on the client side when you have to deal with the the GUI and you know marshalling work to and from a GUI thread, and there is an appendix um, on parallel extensions to .NET based on the bits that we have available today. Fabulous. Well, I, I was uh, privileged enough to you know read preview copies of the book and to. to look through it ahead of time. And I found myself being very impressed by the ease with which you were able to convey these um, difficult concepts, mm. uh, both the introductory and, and the advanced. Um, I also found myself wanting to read it kind of you know, beginning to end. Um, and I'm curious, is that sort of, what, what was your intent for how you expect developers to re read this book? Do you intend it to be a reference book? Do you intend it mm -hmm. to be something that someone reads like a novel? Um, and when they, when they are done with the book, um, what sort of experience do you expect them to have had and where do you expect them to go after that? So first, thanks for the compliments. Sure. Glad you liked it. Um, so uh, I, I kind of, when I was looking at the, the state of the books on the topic out there today, most of them were most you know, very theoretical textbooks. Um, most of the best books out there are textbook oriented kind of things that you'd read in you know, a graduate level computer science course um, that a lot of people wouldn't go off and read for fun. Um, and then the, the more practical books were pretty light on the topic. They didn't get into a lot of the, the really nitty gritty details that I think you need to understand to um, architect and build these kinds of systems. Um, so I was trying to st strike a balance between the two. Um, uh, I myself am the kind of person I really enjoy reading books cover to cover. Um, I'm not keen on the whole reference book. Um, you know, Reference, yes, but not primarily reference. I want it's more of a tutorial that somebody can sit down and read maybe one chapter in isolation if they if they don't want to read the entire book. It is you know a thousand pages, so it takes a while to get through. Um, but it, each chapter should be consumable kind of on its own. If you have if you have the background that you need to understand most of the concepts in the chapter, it's the kind of thing where you really sit down and read it from cover to cover or from you know. Um, one chapter, two chapters, however many you have the time to read at that given point. 
Excellent. And in terms of my going to the book looking to solve a particular problem, reading the chapter on asynchronous I.O. or the chapter on thread pools or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. um, if I'm looking for code to solve a particular problem, uh, what, what kind of solutions does the book offer for me? So in terms of code, there's actually a fair, fairly large number of examples in the book um, when it comes to code. So for example, there's a chapter on parallel containers. So you'll probably remember if you went to the parallel extensions um, you know, talks that we have concurrent stacks and queues and dictionaries and a uh, set of concurrent containers. Well, the book actually has a lot of these data structures, obviously not as nice and clean uh, API abstractions, but at least some of the guts of the algorithms are there. Um, and so uh, there is a companion website as well that has all the code available for download, um, uh, which is actually listed in the book itself. Um, so you don't have to, you know, take the book and uh, and type in all the code yourself. You can actually go and download it. Um, and it, it, I think it, it's pretty interesting to take the examples in the book and the APIs that we provide in parallel extensions, and you can kind of figure out, well, how did they actually build these APIs by walking through some of the examples in the book? Fabulous. Uh, so I understand that uh, at the PDC this week, you're actually having a book signing. So people can, if you're at the PDC, they can come and meet you and get yes. your autograph. You're, you're Joe Duffy, you're John Hancock. <laughs> exactly. And I will be hanging out at the, um, you know, in, in the bookstore generally, um, if people want to stop by and ask me questions, you know, I will be pretty available. Fabulous. Well, I'm, I'm only do I only uh, did a pre-con, so the rest of my time is uh, dedicated set aside to your fans. To, <laughs> dedicated to my fans and schmoozing with people. So <laughs> track me down and find me. I'm glad to talk with anybody. Fabulous. Well, congratulations again on a phenomenal piece of work. And thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah. Awesome. And thank you. For more information, visit onpodcastweekly.com and subscribe to all our podcasts. Brought to you by the publishing imprints and information portal of Pearson Education.